This was my very first binder. Having a budget is very important in budgeting. So I got this from the dollar store, 96 pages of savings challenges. Paper clip the money to the card. So I have like a whole cabinet of these. Don't tell anyone, okay? Don't judge. If I could go back in time, this is what I would do. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, My Kind of Budget. My name is Christina and this is my kind of budget. If I had to restart everything all over again. <laughs> so today's video is going to be a little bit different. I've wanted to do this video for a while. I don't have all the supplies because I don't need them anymore. Uh, but I do have a few things basically to show if I had to restart cash envelope stuffing, this is what and how I would go about doing it. I did not have a very big budget. So for those of you who are just starting out with cash envelope stuffing or are interested, but you're like, worried about I need to go get all of these things I don't have access to a printer or I don't have the funds for a printer you there you don't need much and so this is pretty much what this video is going to be about go ahead and give it a thumbs up if this is something that you're interested in if you like more content like this go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah let's go get started and I'll show you what I have so I thought I would start off with what I started off with for cash envelope stuffing. Um, for those of you who do and want to make the investment in the special materials, girl, I don't know, the words. <laughs> but yeah, this was my very first binder before I switched over to these ones here. And it was a set. I will put the link in the description box of the one if it's still there or one very similar to what i got on amazon it came with this i think it had like 10 or so of these plastic zipper envelopes and then it came with these stickers and several of these budget worksheet things for the balances i started off with that I did not have a budgeting worksheet like I have now. I just used a notebook and then I moved over to my computer and started doing like a spreadsheet on Google Sheets and I actually still use that today. And I have a budget worksheet, but I really only do that for filming purposes. I prefer to do it on the computer. So if I had to start all over again, I actually wouldn't have made the investment to get a whole set. And that is because I really didn't have the budget for it. If we're going to be honest, like, I think this was like $12 for the set. And I was at a place where I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. But I also want all the cute things. And you do not need all the cute things. If I could go back in time to the end of the year of 2022 before starting cash envelope stuffing, the beginning of the year of 2023 this is what i would do i um would have gotten a notebook and everything i'm going to show you is primarily from the dollar store or the uh or what is it called dollar general i got this from the dollar store and it's something that i still use you want a notebook to do your budget having a budget is very important in budgeting <laughs> you need to know how much you're putting away for savings but more importantly what you even have left over to save where you need to make maybe some lifestyle changes so that you have money to save um so i have this little tab here of an example layout or start of a layout of how to do your budget um, your income, expenses, wallet, and um, I'll link a video in the corner here where you can see how I budget. You do not need the worksheet to do this. You just write it all out. I use zero-based budgeting, which means every dollar in this income gets assigned somewhere, and I end up with having zero left over. So for expenses, my wallet, savings challenges, all of that, 
the end ends up being zero. So a wall uh, with a notebook, you get quite a lot of pages. So the dollar store is not a dollar anymore. All the things are $1.25 plus at the time of this video. And hopefully it doesn't get any higher because girl, why are they doing that to us? So I would have gotten a notebook, which I did before I switched over to the computer. And then you will see here that I have three binders or I had my purple binder that I started off with. I wish that I didn't make that investment. I wish I would have gone out and gotten a photo album. So I got this from the dollar store. Love this design. They had different ones. So this is a four by six photo album full of pages and money fits in here. I don't know if you can see that. So money fits in here. You do not need to, if you don't have access to a printer, you can buy paper, a pack of paper at the dollar store, or even the index cards and create your own savings challenges. I like to give things a name and I made this right before filming. It's called roll em. You roll a dice, you track it and you stuff it like boom, boom, bang, bing. Is that how you say it? <laughs> Very simple. And what I like about this photo album is not only that does the money fit, but if let's say you do have access to a printer and you do go and print some freebies or some savings challenges, typically if it's an A6 savings challenge, it will fit inside of this. This can fit a four by six savings challenge and or A6 challenge challenges typically and anything else smaller. So I love this and I wish I would have done this one if you do have access to a printer or want to make your own savings challenges on the computer that's something that i also did this was my very first savings challenge or one of the first savings challenges that i made last year it's just a thousand dollars very simple layout i think i used microsoft word and just made a table and put some numbers inside that added up to a thousand dollars and this is what I got and if I could go back in time and had this photo album this would fit in here as well you can go ahead and print savings challenges if you want or if you have access to a printer um, or you can make your own and just stuff you can do that and then also something that I'm very excited about are the coloring books. Go go to the dollar store, go to the kids section or even the like um, arts aisle of Dollar General because that's where I got this big jumbo one from. And you'll find so many coloring books that you can turn into savings challenges. So this one is called My First Book of Color. I got this from the dollar store, $1.25, 96 pages of coloring and or 96 pages of savings challenges. If you're on a very, very low budget, you can make each picture a dollar and that way you get to save $96, but then also you get to color. <laughs> As the president of the Team Color Club, I approve this coloring book. I'm so excited. I will be doing this. I don't know when I'm going to start, but you can make all these different sections a different value. So maybe they're all a dollar or maybe it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars and you save whatever all that adds up to be. So what that's what I like about the kids coloring books is that they tend to be very large, simple pictures with not many components. And so you can have the option to do a very low amount or you can make it higher. It's up to you, it's very customizable. And then with the activity book, so this one is a coloring and activity book. I got this from Dollar General. This one has coloring pages, but then also it has, let's use this one for an example. This is an activity, it's color by number. So you can do a dollar for each of these. You can do $4, $2 if that's something that fits your budget. But then also, let me find it, something like this. This can also be also be a savings challenge. So each of these can be whatever amount you want or maybe every time 
you do, let's see, it's a dollar to connect two shells together. So $1, $2, $3, $4. Let's say you make a square and then, so that's $4. And when you make a square, you color it in, you save another dollar. So that's $5 for this. You can do a lot, okay? Get creative. Yeah, so this was a dollar, but this is so many saving challenges in here. Is it a little kiddish? Yes, but that doesn't matter when you're trying to save, okay? Because we don't discriminate against money. Money is money. Um, so that's coloring. If you're not really interested in coloring or anything like that, there's also flash cards that you can use. This is from the dollar store and 36 cards, but they're double sided. So that's 72 savings challenges in here that you could be doing. And what I like about these ones is that they have lower denominations. However, that's in my opinion and for my budget, maybe you're on a different budget and $10 is too much. Maybe you only wanna pull out the cards that have the numbers one through five so you can pull those out and take out the ones that don't fit your budget or they have different rings color borders around them maybe you want to do all the reds or all the grays all the greens this is something that you can make to fit you it's your budget make it work for you it also fits inside of the photo album so that's something else that you can use this photo album for. Like I said, I love this because it can fit so many different things in here. Or if you don't want the photo album and you just want to use the cards, maybe paperclip the money to the card. Up to you. And then the last thing that I have that could be fun are these mini Uno cards from the dollar store. And I've seen... I think I'm subscribed to two people who I've seen use these and I will put them in the description box so you can see how they play with them. So these cards are nice. It's a little different from the traditional Uno in that it doesn't have the like draw two cards for the colors. It has plus one and then it doesn't have the plus four for the black cards. It has plus two. Um, so yeah check out the other videos to see how they play i don't know and i can't remember if they use like the skip or reverse cards but you can check those creators out to see how they use these cards and then in terms of tracking because i do think that tracking is important you can get a sheet of paper to track if you have the notebook use the notebook paper or if you get the index cards you can do something similar to this and where you draw the square and you can mark or record which card you draw on here. Something like that. So yeah, those are just a few ideas. And then if you're interested in collecting coins, I have this coin jar here. It's very fancy, absolutely unnecessary. It's got a digital reader here. Um, you don't need that. You can get yourself an empty jar. I think this was like jalapenos or something, or maybe pasta sauce, and I washed it out. So I have like a whole cabinet of these. Don't tell anyone, okay? Don't judge. But this is good for collecting coins as well. You don't need to track there are trackers. I have a tracker that you can print if you have access to a printer. This is my keep the change savings challenge. And all of these coins would for sure fit in this. This is a freebie and there are other freebies, but you don't need to track. I feel like you can just fill it up and then when it's filled, take it to a bank and they will count it and give you the money, okay? Make them do the work. Work smarter, not harder. All right, you guys, I'm actually in the middle of editing this video right now, approaching the closing, and I had to come back because while I was editing, I did think of a couple other things that might be very useful to have when you're just starting out with cash envelope stuffing and neither of these are, or any nothing that I have said in this video so far has been 
necessary. If you do have access to a phone and you're looking to add numbers, I mean, of course you could use a notebook to do your math but sometimes that can be a little taxing. So having a calculator or using your phone or devices calculator could be very helpful to make things more interesting with your cash envelope stuffing, savings challenges, having some dice could be really fun. I think I got these from Amazon or Timu. I can't remember which one. You don't need colorful dice. And if you do decide to buy some dice, you can go to the dollar store. I think you can get a pack of eight or 10 plain white six-sided dice for a dollar twenty-five at the time of this video because i do feel like they are going to continue to increase the prices or you don't even need to buy any physical dice you can get an app or use some kind of website and get access to a six-sided dice i know they have like 10 sided 20 sided all different types of dice that you can use and the final thing that i wanted to say in all of this let's say you don't have access or the means to get to a dollar store or a dollar general or any store maybe like that's not the case for everyone in the end if you're interested in cash envelope stuffing you just simply need to start you don't need really any tools you just need to have the desire the self-discipline and the drive to get started you don't need prop money um, you don't need a high yield savings account you really just have to get started and you know, like i said have self-discipline and really hold yourself accountable for sticking to your budget and i promise that if you stick to it in the end it does really truly pay off and you start to see the benefits of it especially when you finish your first savings challenge and i guess that's something else that i wish i would have done in the very beginning when i first started was to start off with maybe smaller savings challenges i went with the full shebang i think i have like a two thousand dollar savings challenge I showed you I had the $1,000 savings challenge. I had so many savings challenges. And I think when you're just for first starting out, maybe just start off with like some mini challenges. Um, and I'll link a video or put a video here where you can see some examples of some smaller, lower budget mini savings challenges and go from there and then get the hang of cash envelope stuffing and then start doing different savings challenges that's what i can think of for now if you have any other methods for non-traditional cash envelope stuffing that you would like to share with not only me but for anyone else who's watching this video that you're doing or you've seen others do or just some ideas go ahead and share with everyone in the comment section spread the love and the the knowledge and I hope that you all enjoyed this video. It was really fun to film and to edit. And let me know also in the comment section if this is content that you would like to see more of. I will still be doing the cash envelope stuffing, but I would like to try to, you know, mix it up a little bit. Give it a thumbs up. This lets me know that you did enjoy it and it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And there is a... Let's see, that's an ambulance. I live really close to a hospital. Sorry, you guys. That's all I have to say. I'm going to go transfer this video to my computer to finish editing this video to upload it for you guys. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Stay cool if you're somewhere hot. And stay warm if you're somewhere cold. Love you. Bye. <laughs>